Hello, uh, I'm just going to explain quickly how to get the uh, Xbox 360 uh, speed wheel working. Um, this is a, I will show you a video in a bit, this is a U-shaped wireless steering wheel for the Xbox 360 that you're holding, you have to hold up in the air, it's not going to base or anything like that. Um, and you can get it working on Windows without a dead spot or without a massive dead spot. It's still a small dead spot, but it's still usable. Um, it takes a lot of effort though. So if you have one of these speed wheels and you've not installed it at all, then I will put a link to this below. You need to go follow these this page. Now, there are some caveats on this. Uh, this will work on Windows... 2004 so one of the late the latest updates as of this video um, I did a complete update yesterday and I've got it working if you've got the pre previous version of Windows and you haven't updated 2004 yet um, you can use it without doing this now the drive there's a slight difference in the drivers so in this one uh, the driver files for this one are slightly newer uh, and it gives you the link to the driver's files here in point three. Um, now the drivers I was using prior to Windows 2004 were uh, it was the Xbox 360 wireless receiver and it was version 18362. Now I'm not sure if this still works I just downloaded the latest one but with this version I was managed to I managed to get the Windows um, configuration panel so when you go into uh, configure your USB controller you sometimes have a configuration or you normally have a configuration where you can see the movement of the controller and you can set calibrate and all the rest of it with this latest version that that doesn't that particular part of the uh, setup doesn't work with on my old version of Windows with this particular driver it worked so I haven't tried yet downloading this drive uh, going and getting this older driver and seeing if that makes the control panel work so you may want if somebody wants to do that and let us know in the comments if you grab this driver from somewhere um, first of all where you got it from and if it allows you to use the config in uh, USB controllers in Windows but anyway straightforward to the Windows 2004 update I think it came out in May go through this what this basically has to get you to do is Windows did something very Apple-esque where they changed the some numbers in these files which means it no longer recognizes the Chinese version of the USB receiver so these are the cheaper Chinese versions of the dongles that you plug in so your wireless controllers can connect to your PC if you've got one of the cheaper Chinese ones um, then you have to go through this on the latest version of Windows because they, they're doing the Apple thing presumably they've done it so as to try and make more people buy their hardware but anyway so you go through this what you need to do is go and plug in your driver or your device um, go into your it tells you to go into your drivers and check for, out for this number here um, you then go and download these drivers before you install them extract the driver um, go and find where you extracted it look for this file usb21.inf do a search and replace for 0719 which is what Microsoft device comes up as um, and replace it with 0291 and this is the bit that you have to do in order to get stop the um, device coming up as unknown device so Windows will now recognize this um, or whatever number you've got here in your device driver when you plug it in it will recognize that as a Windows Xbox controller save that um, install them uh, it's got some extra stuff here you may have to do um, in order to be able to install as uh, unsigned driver so you just need to type this into a, an administrator command prompt it tells you how to do this reboot windows you will then be able to install unsigned drivers after you've done that don't forget at the bottom it tells you 
at the end go back and turn this off um, and then when you go into your device manager you should now see the unknown device but it will recognize it and allow you to install the Xbox 360 drivers and the one you want to choose is this Xbox 360 peripherals Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows so that's how you install the drivers if you've got one of these cheap Chinese um, USB devices now once you've done that though a lot of people have been having problems where they've got a massive dead zone on it um, and the dead zone makes it unusable I'm, I'm talking about a dead zone where you have to turn the wheel I don't know sort of to two o'clock before it starts registering um, which is no good in games like Formula One where you need very precise control what I found was what was causing that was Steam so if you go into Steam settings controller general controller settings find your Xbox Steam wheel click on that click on calibrate and what you will find mine's reverted now but by default it's set to like this mode um, and because it was set to that mode you can see the size of the dead spot if I just move the wheel it's massive so that's almost like in fact that's about 45 degrees tilt on the wheel to get it out of the dead zone um, so if you're playing games through Steam definitely check this set it but I set them both to zero there's no right stick on the speed wheel but if you have this with other controllers set them both to zero click OK come back out and that should now be working so what I'm going to do now of that lot let's start up 2018 and I will show you it working in game just to prove that I have got it working on mine now there's a lot of different bits and pieces that can go wrong with this so you may need to um, tweak some settings but like I say that previous version of drivers or other files you download that's been updated on the Windows website if you can find the 18362.1 or 10.0 18362.1 version um, this one you may find that your in-game settings work or in Windows let me just show you what I mean there what I mean by that is when you go to this screen you don't get any calibration options what you want to see on that screen is something like this now with that other version of drivers I, I managed to load this up with the latest version this is all I get and it doesn't register anything so if anyone knows how to fix that please let us know in the comments and I'll do a update the video if we go into here uh, let's just do a time trial Let me see if I can set my camera up so you can actually see the wheel, see that I'm using the wheel and not just faking it. Just one second. Right, so here we are. This is the speed wheel, for those of you that haven't seen it. It's a Microsoft Xbox 360 steering wheel, wireless. It works really well uh, on the Xbox. But it's never worked very well for me in Windows. But I'm going to hopefully show you, if you can see, the dead zone now starts around about there. With the steam change, um, see, I'm trying to get it just on the edge. So that's about where the dead zone starts now. Previously, it was there, somewhere. So previously, for that whole motion it wouldn't work because steam had a massive dead zone set now it's got still got a small dead zone but it's very very usable so it's still not perfect and but as you can see you can do small 
increments. So it does work. Um, if anybody manages to get the pitch and your motion, which is these things do have sensors in for that direction. Oh, I've got my finger on the uh, the button. The the drawer on the bottom of this one for some reason keeps disconnecting if you touch it. I need to clean the terminal. Uh, so yeah, you, they do work with the pitch and they do work with the yaw. So you could use this for flight sim. The problem is I haven't yet found any drivers that allow that to work on Windows. That would mean this would be quite a nice flight sim control if you could get the uh, yaw motion and the pitch motion working as well as the, the sort of ailerons or turning motion but let me know how you get on with yours if you've got any tips on how to get the usb uh what's it called usb calibration set up on windows working please let us know um like i say it used to work the latest drivers don't work if you try those other drivers that i was looking at previously um let me know if they work and you get the game control up but hopefully that will work for you have fun driving